Okay, in this lesson, I want to explain the pass link in simulation. Go into the simulation, and here we have a path. As you can see, this part of this robot that has a lot of revolute uh, joints in it uh, follow this path. Okay, I want to make it from scratch. Uh, go into the link and delete all the joints and the links <clears throat> and beginning from the start first you have to lock this uh, solid here as you can see we have a lot of solid here we send it to the solid first you have to lock it to set in the base of the robot okay the first joint I expand it the first joint is I want to rotate this object around this object so, first joint is revolute, first object, second object, and rotate whole <coughs> around any of these axes. It's not important. Exactly at the middle of this and this object axis. This is first joint. And the second joint is this object goes around this object. This uh, hand is moving in this direction. Another revolute, this object goes around this object, around this axis, center of axis. <clears throat> Another revolute is this and this object, revolute, this object, this object, around this axis. Goes in this direction. Another revolute is this to the this object. Uh, I put the download link for downloading this project file in description the, in uh, in description and you can download and use it to connecting these two objects we need another revolute this object to this object as you can see we have an uh, this object I model we have a center of this okay i design it it's a circle that you can define at the center <clears throat> this is uh, this handle goes around this axis another real revolute is this object connecting to the, this object around this axis <clears throat> and that's it this is a welder and i want to a point from this uh, welder in this part follow the path and because of that it follow the path it moves all the joints uh, together it's very simple okay now it's the time to add a pass link here pass it select it says select a solid to follow the path this follow this solid wants to follow this path and select solid to contain pass here we have to uh, select the second solid in this joint you have to select a ground as a se se second solid okay just it's act like this and you have to select the follower point and it says okay this is on welder the basic is ground and which part of that welder do you want to follow the pass I want exactly the middle of this circle goes around, follow around the pass. And says you, okay, please select the pass. And select the pass, select it. And everything is correct. If you uh, play it, as you can see, nothing happened. Because we have to engine, we have to add a motion to that pass, that point to move along that pass. So, doing with trajectory motion here open as you can see the similar window will be open it says you want to move the this path to the constant or a ramp i choose a ramp i choose the ramps because it's uh, as you can see if you select it it's from the zero go to the uh, infinite speed and it is uh, work in this mode i don't know why but the constant does not work correctly but the ramp is okay 
And if you play okay, as you can see, um, another problem will be happen. What is that? You have to go to the joint and add the impose joint limit. I want to explain what is impose. As you can see, if you do not add the impose, this joint, these joints go anywhere, any direction that they want. So you have to add the impose. You have to constrain them. You don't have to, for example, rotate uh, over that range. So you have to specify a range to rotate. I experiment all of these uh, joints for this robot. You can add your number, but this number in any joint is good. For, for this joint, 50 negative 50 to positive 50 degree. It's in a degree, not radian. <coughs> Joint two, for this one, add an impose. This number <coughs> is a good, 113, 113. Another joint, this joint, okay, 50 to 50, nice. <coughs> this is a range of the movements. We restrict the range of the movement and does not uh, rotate freely, it's bad. Uh, okay, we have a uh, smaller angle for this, another joint, the last joint at the impose, and it's okay. And everything is okay. If you start it, as you can see, it's correct. We have a limitation to the joint rotation and everything is correct because they does not uh, move freely and it's okay another thing is a parameter if you go to the parameter i experiment that this number from the record simulation and this number for time step is a good and i don't need any gravity <clears throat> Another interesting thing is that you can control your, I, this, I disabled, I delete the pass. You can control the robot with your keyboard and the Xbox uh, for your, uh, when you go to the interactive. I want to explain interactive. You can sync your interactive to the desktop or the VR viewer. With a, you can control, design a panel for that. Look at this video. As you can see, this is an Xbox that uh, we we have a lot of joint here. And as you can see, you can control with the Xbox that tractor. Okay, as you can see, with the Xbox, you can interactively using a VR control your any machine or it has a lot of as you can see, prismatic joint, revolute joint. It is awesome. How can I do that? It's very simple. You have to model your 3D design that you want. First, design your or put your joint. And then you have to add the design panel. Go to interactive panel. And here you can design panel. Here you can pl plus... <coughs> Click on this plus icon and then add your joint to customize it. Here in a control function, just we need this. Tick on that or double click on that to open this window, interactive channel. You want to control a speed or rotation or torque. We want to control the speed. Uh, we want to control the rotation. For example, I want to hit W or Q to change the direction of that. These uh, numbers or values if, uh, are in a radian, don't worry. Okay, I select it. I want to hit W to increase the angle and double click to Q in a keyboard to set the uh, control K for controlling that joint. We are controlling the function of that joint. I want to, with this number, with this step, uh, this is in radi radian uh, 0 0.1, uh, 
the minimum the maximum angle of the rotation is 20 and the negative 20 for minimum and that's it you can set it any number and hit ok and if you for simulation for this simulation you have to select interactivity interactive uh, start as you can see if i hit w you can rotate or q you can rotate your <clears throat> and control your joints with w and q you set it why does this happen because we do not uh, assign any key for those joints go to control panel again add and select a second join here you can control enable or disable you can on or off key. we do not need that just we need control function i want to control the rotation the speed not good rotation of that because i want to rotate my object in this case i hit s double click and a to control it increase or decrease it that <clears throat> this step size for rotation in radian is nice and the maximum the minimum the radian it's not in the degree you can uh, convert uh, this number radian to degree if you want and hit okay oh invalid oh because 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 it is has to be negative and that's right and we can control this and this with another control panel <clears throat> select that join plus uh, first plus and then select that joint sorry that joint now control function <clears throat> x and z negative and positive and this is step size is okay and everything is okay and and now you can start in interactive menu and you can w and q s and a z and as you can see z and x you can control your robot interactivity very easy stop or you can synchron it from your desktop or vr i don't i don't have any sorry xbox joystick that unfortunately i can't show it but you can plug your uh, joystick your comp for PC the joystick for PC not for place uh, for Xbox uh, the Xbox joystick for PC so I think it's very interest uh, expensive but uh, and after that you can uh, as you can see you can uh, plug in on your system and control uh, your model in VR interactively uh, interactive with your model in a VR viewer with your xbox joystick that's very easy and it's a parameter like other if you want to add gravity frame per second for uh, exporting the animation and the time step that's it so this is interactive menu it's very simple and easy so you can with a design panel you can control your speed rotation torque your object very easy it's a big example of that Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.